Let's now talk about ISO 9001. This, if you if you buy the uh, uh, the online version, this is what it will look like when you get it. This is the 2008 version. Uh, so far as I know, that's the most recent of them. Uh, it's a it's not a large standard. The standards go. It's um, merely what 20 20 say call it 30 pages long, which is not a not a particularly large standard. Uh, it was, um, I think it first came into existence in 1987 as a, uh, a general standard for quality management systems. There seemed to be a need at the time for uh, some agreement, a uh, general worldwide agreement, on uh, what an organization would have to have in place and what kind of thing it would need to do in order to uh, claim to be doing things to a, uh, an acceptable level of quality. Now at that time it was a collection of requirements, I think there were something like 20 requirements, um, but in um, 2000 it uh, changed around to a process-based model. Now there are various sections in it, uh, some of them are informative and, and very much introductory, and some of them uh, list off the requirements of, of what an organization has to do. So we'll go through these sections one by one and uh, I'll, I'll essentially discuss them with you and, and see how it happens. So I look forward to seeing you.